Good evening. A family of Sean Giles say they are looking to do everything they can to make sure no one suffers a loss like theirs ever again. They're asking Northeast and the region to light up their homes red for the first few days of May. Matt Mathias caught up with those organizing the event and has our story tonight. Matt. Well, Jen, several Northeast businesses are in on this endeavor as they hope to help advocate for the safety of our first responders. The loved ones of fallen Northeast firefighter Sean Giles are asking for the community's support by lighting the outside of their homes red May 1st through May 5th. It's just a simple red light. But for those who have been through what Giles' family have experienced, the gesture serves as a deep symbolic reminder. I was not aware of this, but it's a national event for any of the firefighters who have lost their life in the line of duty. So they do from May 1st to May 5th. You can light, you know, your front porch, a lamp in your window, whatever, you know, in red to honor. So in this case, obviously, we're doing this for Sean, for my husband. Businesses in the area willing to sell red light bulbs to people who want to participate for $2 a piece. One of the businesses involved shares why they're throwing their hat in the ring and are distributing red light bulbs. And I think it's important to um, help keep Sean's memory alive, as well as um, making people aware of safety. Every dollar raised through the sale of light bulbs is going right back into the Sean Giles Memorial Fund, which Burnett Giles is working on making a tax exempt 501c3. She says the money will be used to advocate for firefighter safety. Kaso Brown says the hope is people see these lights and will be reminded more to pay attention to their surroundings while driving, and that the red stands not just for Sean Giles, but any other firefighter who has paid the ultimate price. So just making that awareness, you know, while you know, promoting Sean's name, that that's kind of my goal, but how awesome it'll be to see everything lit up in red. I can't wait, really. And Burnett Giles says they're also putting together a Memorial 5K on August 18th. She's also, also thinking of ways she can give back to the community that's been so supportive of her and her family during this difficult time. Those dates will also mark one year since the tragedy. Jen. All right, Matt Mathias in our studio. Thank you, Matt.